Hello geeks, it's Elisa, and right now we're going to do a quick segment of Geekgasm by the Fire. So hopefully you've read my Arrow recap for Season 3, Episode 11, which is called Midnight City. And um, I'm just going to go over my three favorite scenes from this episode. So, first one. Marcel blames himself for what happened. Yeah. It wasn't his fault. The line between grief and guilt is a thin one. I love this scene because I love everything about the Tatsu Maseo storyline. I've loved them in all the flashbacks, and I'm so happy that they're now part of the real-time story on Arrow. Um, this scene in particular I like because we get a bit of an understanding about why Maseo and Tatsu haven't been in contact in a long time. Uh, Tatsu tells Oliver that Maseo feels guilty about something, um, and that's maybe why he joined the League of Assassins and he's become very different from how he was in the flashbacks. Um, I think it has something to do with maybe something that happened to their son over the past few years that he feels guilty for, um, but uh, clearly he's um, much darker, much darker character. Not that he was lighthearted in the first place, but he's almost like emotionless. Aside from rescuing Oliver, he, he barely shows any kind of emotion towards Tatsu especially and towards Oliver in the tent. It's all very robotic and um, just wants to save him and then leave and go back to uh, the League of Assassins. So I'm really excited to see where the storyline goes. I love Maseo. I would love for him to go back to Starling with Oliver and Tatsu and the three of them can live happily ever after protecting the city. But um, as we saw at the end of this episode, doesn't look like that's gonna happen. So I'm excited to see where it goes. My second favorite scene in this episode is a scene between Laurel and Felicity. Have a look. I'm not strong enough to fight for Sarah. Maybe you're not supposed to. Maybe it's not about Sarah, or Oliver, or anyone else that we care about who we've lost. Maybe what we've been doing, we've been doing it because there are people we care about that are still alive. Maybe we're doing it for them. I'm a big fan of this scene because I love the idea of Laurel and Felicity being friends and being partners. Um, and in this scene, Laurel is kind of devastated because she just sort of failed in her mission to save the Alderman and Brick um, murders one of them right in front of her. So Felicity goes to check on Laurel and um, basically what winds up happening is Laurel confesses to Felicity that she doesn't think she really is strong enough to take Sarah's place and really defend the city the way she wants to and the way that her sister did before. And um, Felicity tells her that um, maybe it's not about Sarah, maybe it's not about the people who they loved, who they've lost now, like Oliver and like Sarah. Um, but maybe now it's about fighting for the people who are still there, who they can still protect. And um, Laurel really takes that to heart. And um, at the end of the episode, you can see that she really understood where Felicity was coming from and she agrees. And um, Team Arrow kind of has a reformation at the end of this episode. And I think that conversation was a big part of that. So that was really cool. All right, so my third favorite scene from this episode of Arrow was Roy going and talking to Malcolm Merlin. You need to stay away from her. I don't know why you want her to leave Starling City, but I'm not letting her go anywhere with you. Well, thank you for that. I was in need of some humor. I wasn't joking. You were poison. You put her in Ra's al Ghul's gun sights. You had her kill Sarah? Roy has really come a long way from being that like street thug that stole Thea's purse. Um, he's really grown into a hero, I think. And, um, when Oliver left, he asked Roy to protect Thea. And through this episode, Roy is kind of spying on Thea um, and kind of trying to get an idea of why um, Malcolm wants to take her away from Starling. So what he does is he kind of like corners Malcolm in Thea's apartment and tells him to stay away from Thea, um, that he's a poison, he says, um, which is so true, <laughs> he's so evil. Um, but basically he says, stay away from Thea. I know her better than you do. She'll turn on you when she figures out the truth. Um, and Malcolm, you know, kind of just laughs at Roy. But I love the intensity of this scene, how um, Roy really, his hero side shows because he's um, getting in Malcolm's face and he's um, really trying to protect Thea and keep his promise to Oliver that he would keep her safe. So now you know what three scenes in this episode of Arrow really caught my eye, got my attention, but I want to know what your favorite scenes were. So, um, you know, talk to me. I want to hear from you geeks. 
Let me know what your favorite scenes were and um, let me know what you're looking forward to in next week's episode of Arrow. We'll talk to you soon. Ciao. Stay here any longer. Are you trying to kill yourself? To defeat this man, you must be like him. Arrow, all new next Wednesday.